Greetings my followers! Today we'll be going over fixing the supports on this beautiful model by the very talented Jeff of Hex3D Patreon. The link to his Patreon is in the description below. He does beautiful sculpting. Uh, anyway, we'll be fixing up the supports. We had a couple of failures with the first print and I'll talk about how to properly support something when you have a failure. And we go over a few different kinds of failures, so stay tuned and I'll help you fix your failures of your resin 3D prints and we'll have a little fun doing it too. Okay, so we start here, which is the spot in the model where all these supports are coming from these angles and not supporting the model very well. They're all coming from outside. They're not coming from the base of the model here, straight up to the middle, the backpack that ended up failing. So what we're going to do is we're going to start getting rid of them. What we do here is I'm going to press D for delete. So you have the keyboard shortcut is there. A for add, D for delete, E for edit. D for delete, there we go. And you can select multiple, I think, right? No? No, you can't, just keep on selecting them. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take all these that are coming from outside the model, or at least the majority of them, and delete them. So I'm gonna press either the delete key or the D key on the keyboard, like that. Select, hit delete, or D for delete. Some of the rest of these are fine. But most of these, I'm going to redo. I'm going to redo all these as heavy supports, and I'm going to press A for add. There we go. Now we're on the add mode. We're on heavy supports. So if you look, it's just coming, bringing in the support from outside. The base of the support is going to be outside the model. So what you can do, what I do in this case, is go back further and further and further until right about here, where it's actually placing the support on the base. So if you click this, you can see if you follow it down here. So the one I just added is right here. Uh, I'm gonna click on the shaft of it and I'm going to drag it away from that area because I want it to be closer to the first layer that's not supported very well. So that's there. I'm gonna go ahead and create another one right now. I press A for add and create another one. E to switch to edit mode, drag this support away. A for add again, add another one. E for edit, drag the stem away. A for add, add another one. E for edit, drag it away. There might be a better way to do this, but this works. A for add, again, A on the keyboard, uh, click. Uh oh, that one didn't actually add correctly. E for edit, so I can get out of that mode. Now, see that one came at an angle. Sometimes it's hard to see with all the other, other uh, supports around. D for delete, boom. D for delete, or undo. Control Z is undo, Control Z undoes. So you can undo multiple levels of the last action you've taken. A for add, add it. E for edit, move the stem away. A for add, these are all heavies. Add it there. E for edit, drag the support stem thingy away. Uh, A for add again, and E for edit, drag it away. Okay, so we've got a whole bunch now. All the tips are up here. But we're going to move those eventually. In, in fact, right now I'll move some of them. So I'm on edit mode. I still have E selected, E for edit mode. I'm going to go ahead and move that one closer to the, the stem, the support, the rest of it. Same for all the rest of these. And sometimes it's difficult to tell where they're pointed in the 3D environment. Sometimes you have to rotate around, zoom in a little more. Eventually you can get to a point where you can see what it's going on. And then uh, it'll be the same thing at the uh, bases of all of them. So just start moving them around. And... All right, so let's rotate with the right mouse button, zoom out, we can get our bearings, and move the whole screen again with the left mouse button, rotate with the right mouse button, left mouse button, right mouse button, left mouse button, etc., etc. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna fix all these. You can also tell if it's straight, like this one for example, pay attention to where it is on the ball joint thing. See how this one's like kind of straight across, this one's not straight across? You're gonna see that when you rotate it, that one's at an angle. So if you want to get it straight across, you want to get that part more, you want to get this thing right here a little more like straight across. See that's a little more straight across. Anyhow, same thing with all of these. And we'll be moving all these closer to the actual first layer. So it's very well supported. We really want to over support this thing because that is the key to the whole process. So stick with it. So what I've done without completely wasting your time is I've redone those. I spent quite some time redoing a lot of these supports and goodness gracious, it is 
amazing it's a heavy support and it also has four other supports touching it so you've got all these supports all supporting this one layer of the model so that's definitely going to stick to the supports instead of the FEP I'll pull right off the next one is supported and yeah, it could be better more well supported really I'll show you how I would support this layer even better than it is currently press E on the keyboard for edit we're gonna click on this ball joint double click on it I'm gonna give it another support here, press E to get out of that mode. Okay, so I give it one there, and I'll give it one from here too. So we're gonna get around the outside of it. This takes patience and patience and patience. This ball joint here, boom. We're gonna give it another support there. Push E to get out of edit mode, because otherwise you're still editing that same joint. All right, so. Also, if you're in this mode, if you're in this view, and you can't see all the ball joints or whatever, press E for edit mode, double click here, and it's the same thing. You've just selected that ball joint. You can create another tip right here. Press E to get out of it again. But really what you wanna do is you wanna support, you wanna over support the initial layer. The support to that initial layer, the only things connecting this layer to the rest of the model underneath. So you really need to have this supported as well as possible on the first one or two layers because once those are fully supported and fully connected, secured, adhered to the rest of the model, then the rest of the model will grab a hold of it and will be able to print onto this layer. So we're gonna press E for edit, double click this, which is basically the ball joint. Uh, we're gonna click one here, press E to get out of that mode, double click this one, put one here, E to get out of that mode, double click this one, put one here, press E to get out of that mode. So now we have so many more supports on those first two layers. And really, that's what you want. It might be a pain in the butt to clean this up, but you know what, it's better to be able to clean this up later. Take a sanding sponge, give it a few wipes and it's good to go like really it's not that big a deal it's also on a part of the model it's on the underside of the back of the model not many people are really going to see that very often so what you want to do you want to support the heck out of it because these layers are the ones that are the most 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 important because it's going to print this layer if that's well supported like it is it's got four heavy sorry five heavy supports on it that's going to stick to these supports you cannot pull that away it's going to peel that from the FEP. In this layer, you've got four, eight, 12 supports on it. 12 support, that's only the second layer. It's the first, second layer. You've got 12 supports now on this layer. That's not going anywhere. That's definitely going to hold. So when you get to the next one and the next one, you know, you have a few more uh, layers here and there. But it's adhering to the layers that are already supported. And as long as those aren't going to peel off, and you see these go right through, like these supports penetrate this layer quite a bit. You can see all of these tips of the supports are going way through there. Once you get all these supports removed, take a sanding sponge, just sand that part down. It takes half a second. And instead of having a failed print, you'll have a, a perfectly supported print the whole process here of adding supports is so that this prints successfully. You'll see that's when the backpack becomes hollow and we're done really supporting it. Now you just have these edges, this, this thin edge that's holding on to all the rest of the model that you've already printed. All these layers, all these layers that came from the bottom layer up, those are so well supported that now you just have these thin walls of the outside of the model and those of course are going to be supported because they're supported by this huge piece of the model so next we're going to fix yoda's claws hands these even though when you're really close they seem like they were kind of okay they are not <laughs> they're not at all uh they're super tiny they weren't strong enough to hold on to his fingers so we're going to delete them Press D to delete, highlight, 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 highlight. You can do many at once. You don't have to hold shift or anything, just highlight them all. And hit delete or the D key, or click the little button down here if you love the mouse. Uh, this one, as I recall, printed okay, so I'm gonna leave that one alone. If it ain't broke, don't break it. Uh, a for add, we're gonna add heavy supports. There we go, that's pretty good. You want this at the lowest point. You can tell by the layer line. When the layer line gets to there, it's the lowest point. And, uh, you know, of course we can raise these layers up so we get a better view of it and kind of get right under it to get a more accurate view of if whether or not that is the absolute lowest point. Uh, you can hit E for edit if you want to move this thing around a little bit. If you're like, oh, well this is, you know, looks a little more like the lowest point right there. That's fine. I'm going to add heavy supports here, 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 and here. So we have plenty to support that finger. They're heavy. Even though they're heavy, they're pretty small. 
there's still going to be a pretty small support because it's just a portion of the support. Now these fingers turned out mostly okay on the model, but they were a little close for comfort, so I'm going to replace a couple of these also. Press D for delete, and I'm just highlighting all the ones I want to delete. Press D again to delete them. A for add, we're on heavy supports. Go ahead and add them right at the very first layer here. Sometimes you have to move it around to get to the exact spot where it wants to put it. Right there. Let's add one to right there. Uh, that one's fine, but we'll delete it. Add a little heavier one there. And then one to his nail here. Okay, right at the claw. Right at the claw. And we're done. Let's see where the island starts. Okay. That island as well. Let's check out the belt. Remember there was an issue with the strap on the backpack and the issue is with that one that the support is coming in from an angle and it's not directly below it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get a support directly below it and so what I'm going to do in order to accomplish that is put one here and then we're going to edit it because what it's doing is it's placing a support there but it's outside the model. We're going to push E for edit, move this, I'm pushing up on the mouse, down on the mouse, up on the mouse, down on the mouse. So I'm going to push up on the mouse until we're actually printing on the model itself, the base of the model. So instead of having that one there, we're going to press E for edit, move the tip to the lowest layer. It's right there. Now it's at a weird angle. We're going to delete this other one, D for delete. We're going to move the uh, base of this one around. <laughs> now it's getting all weird, okay. Fun times, fun times, all right. There we go. There's always a way to do it. But now that that is supported directly, we shouldn't see the same issue we saw before. And it's not touching the right place. We can also add one a little bit of an angle just to give it additional support, right? Here. That's going to be coming from a little more of an angle, and in order to prevent it from fusing with the rest of the model, I'm going to move the skate away from the base. There we go. And what I can do also, since all of these skates are fused together at this point, I'm going to go ahead and change the touch diameter of this bottom skate to 8 millimeters instead, so there's less area that has to clear the bottom of the model. So that should support that very well. Uh, the last thing I remember seeing was there was a line kind of through the entire model. So we're going to scroll up and right about there, let me see, I've got the model here. Uh, right about, right under his knuckles and everything, there's a kind of a distinct line. It could have been the air conditioning kicked on and resin got a little cooler or something. When I do see lines, what I like to try is adding more supports to that particular there is no So I'm going to go ahead and go with the medium, and I'm just going to add another support right here, and another support right here. So that'll give his hand some additional support to that. Now they're uh, connected to each other, so there's extra, extra support for both. Uh, what I'm going to do also is uh, give these a little bit of a fan effect, um, just to give them more points of support. So E for edit, click on the ball joint, and give them... You can bring the ball joint down a little bit on these two. But I'm going to give them a couple other points, a couple other tips. Press E to get out of it, so you're not editing that one anymore. Double click this one, give it a couple extra tips. Press E to get out of it again. I can lower this one a little bit. I like the way that angle is. And just a couple additional supports, tips there. Let me give this one a couple additional tips as well, rotating it. I have double clicked it and I'm just clicking to give it additional tips out of the same shaft. So those should be good as well. Now I'm confident, 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 dry and secure, <laughs> confident that it will print okay this time. I'm going to slice it and succeeding the print platform just by a little bit over here. That's fine. And in the next video, I will have the results of this print and you can see if we've fixed the issues. So please subscribe so you don't miss the future episodes. And I will be going over some more cut and dry how-to videos with less of the distracting, kitschy stuff. But let me know in the comments below if you enjoy all the references and the stupid little pop-up garbage. Or uh, if you'd rather have just a more straightforward, shorter how-to tutorial video. Um, thanks again for watching. I appreciate your patronage. Oh, well, that's way too high. All right.
these are settings for my other resin so anyway uh yeah thanks for subscribing all that good stuff